Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Mr. Terry, and I'm glad you're all here today. Hey, uh, have you ever been invited to a party and thought, you know, how did I even get here? You know, me too. And if you ever had that thought, you have a lot in common with many of the, the people who celebrated the very first Christmas thousands of years ago. So let's go way back to the, the very first Christmas. For thousands of years, people of Israel were waiting for their Messiah. And do you guys know what a Messiah is or what it means? It means to be like a king or, or, or something like that, right? He, he was the one God promised who would come and change everything for them. He was the one who would save them from their sins as they waited and waited for a strong, strong king, or who they thought was going to be the king, right? Now, when you hear the word king, what do you imagine? I think a king would be like a, a royal person with lots of servants and have lots of jewels, get to ride around in his big carriage. He'd be surrounded by other royal people, maybe have an army with him. You know, a lot of people have ideas about how it would happen and who it would be. More than that, they had ideas about who that person would get to hang around, out with or be close to, you know, to, to the savior of this world. They had lots of thoughts about who would be, invi would be invited. Do you think they were surprised at the way it happened? Well, everything about how the savior arrived in this world was surprising to everybody. Most of the people thought that he would be only hang out with religious leaders or kings or people with lots of power. But here, here's what happened. There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks. And at night, didn't an angel of the Lord appear to them, and the glory of the Lord shone all around them? And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Now, when you hear that, that word, uh, do not fear, man, that happens 365 times in the Bible. So look that up. It's true. If you were here last week, and you already know this, the first people invited to see Jesus, the Savior, when he was born, were the shepherds. Back then, shepherds weren't the, the most well-known or well-respected people. They weren't rich or powerful or religious. Uh, they weren't the, the people anyone thought would be invited or included to meet the Savior. That's why it was so shocking when an angel not only showed up and announced to them the, the news that Jesus the Savior was born, but also invited them to go see Jesus for themselves. I have no way of knowing for sure why God chose to let them know first, but, uh, but I do know that God does everything for a purpose. Do you think God was making a point about uh, what kind of people were invited to see Jesus? Not just super rich, super powerful, or super religious, but everybody, you know, because that was good news of great joy for all people. So this is, this is like a party that we get invited to and to share about what, what this is all about because you're invited too. You're invited not just to come to church each week, but to be included in the family of God, to be a part of this story God is writing in this world to follow Jesus every day. Being at church doesn't mean that you have to act a certain way or to believe what everybody else believes or, or do anything specific to belong. Just like the, the shepherds, they weren't anything special. So on Sundays, we get, we get to come here, we get to be wild, we act kind of crazy sometimes because I want the real you just the way you are to show up at church. Everyone is invited to and included to the fun and the craziness that we have here. In fact, I invite you to continue to show up each Sunday and beyond that. Kids, the leaders at your church would love to have you and your friends there each week. That's why we want to invite your friends, because the more invited, the more fun that we will have. And I hope you'll come and see it for yourself. Especially if you haven't been to church or, or know who Jesus is, you're invited. So I want you to come and know the love of Jesus and what God did for us. Because the great news is for all the people, not just a select few. So like I said, people, if, if you're listening to this, uh, a parent or a kid, and happen to hear this, know that you're invited here every Sunday. You don't have to know Jesus. You just have, I just invite you to come and have fun with us and get crazy, because we do get crazy here. So come, learn about Jesus, and just come as you are. No, I don't care where, what, where you live, what your thoughts are, or anything. I invite you right here at Hope Palm Desert to come and be with us every Sunday and join in on the fun, and most of all, just to fellowship with other other like people like you, okay? So uh, if you heard what you something you like today, hit that like button, and then uh, hit that subscribe so you can get this every week. You know, and again, like I say, this is for all people, not just the select people. So I love you guys. You guys have a great week. 
and uh, Merry Christmas. We'll see you later. Bye.